Well, can you tell my mum I'm okay? Does that mean anything? I'm here. Okay, I understand you're here. Okay. There's a little boy who wants to connect with his mommy. Can anyone relate to this? You can. And you can relate to this as well. Are you mum? Yes. So I'm not sure which way I'm coming. Did this boy pass when he was very young? Maybe four or five? Yes. Okay, excuse me, I'm, I'm up here, okay. I'm gonna come for a wander and come and speak to you. Did you put a teddy bear in the coffin with him? Can you yes, I did. You did? Okay. Did. Just a little teddy bear, because he keeps showing me that he's got it, and he's saying, Mum, I'm okay. And what he's just said to me, he's going to be there when it's your time. Because he's saying to me that you've been questioning whether you, he's going to be there when it's your time to go. Do you want to come stand with her? There. So this is my daughter. Hello, daughter. Hi. <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, there is also a gentleman that is very dear who keeps coming close to you as well. Now, whether this is a husband or a friend of yours, but there's a very close male figure who's coming forward, you know, Bobby, I feel dear. like I'm talking about your dad. Did he have problems with his hips? Because suddenly, I just felt like I was a bit on a skateboard. Yeah. And yeah. he's so sweet. He is a handsome man. Yeah. But is he very cautious about his hair? Yes. He was always combing the hair over because he had yeah. a little bald spot. Right. Yeah. He's very self-conscious yeah. of it. I feel yeah. it was shiny. Yes. yes. He's telling me that he's waiting for you. You're not that you're going to be going anywhere soon. Oh, he'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know what? They're giving you flowers. They're giving you flowers. Fresh and ones. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say a very nice goodbye you from your husband. Much. Okay. Thank you very, very Give me a much. Hug. Okay. So, who am I going with? Who's George? Was George a brother? Okay. Yes. Because he's just said, "I'm the brother." Yes, he was. Okay. And do you want to stand oh. up? Okay. He's, he passed too young. Very young. And he, she, he just keeps telling me how there was a feeling of a breakdown of communication, how you didn't speak. Right. That's was there a feeling of getting killed? Because he just keeps showing me he got killed. That's what we're not sure of. Okay, I think you've got your answer. Why is it always left to me to give bad news? I'm sorry. But that's okay, because we, we didn't know. Now, his mum passed on as well. Yes. Because he keeps bringing mum here well. with me. Can I tell you that they've made amends? Okay. Mum was hard. She was evil to people. She was evil to you. She was evil to the family. Can you relate to this? Yes. And she's sorry for the abuse. And I'm really sorry to put this to you. And I know it's a very de delicate situation. I need to come over here. She's sorry. Come and stand with me. Come and stand with me. Come on. Are you okay? Yeah. I was looking for my brother, but not my mother. <laughs> but, I don't have but control. She, she's way overdue. I think so. Yeah. Okay. She's saying, I didn't tell you how sorry I was because she didn't see what she was doing. And it was all up here. And it was as though there was a mental... The only way she's telling me is she was twisted up here. And that is her words. You would never have heard those words out of her mouth no. in her life. But she's showing me that there's been justice since she's been passed over in either 20 years, I don't know how long it's been. But she's showing me that she's sorry. And she's showing me that the fact is that you are who you are because of her. You have changed things. You have changed the pattern, you broke the family pattern. She's blaming her dad but I feel she would always lay blame Thank on you. someone. Yep. And it's as though she can't accept the blame, but she's aiming the blame on someone else. Yep. And she's sorry, but she's sorry for hurting you as a little girl. All right? And she's showing me that it was... Okay. 
I need a grandmother that figure that's coming in here. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Your grandmother and your mother keep telling me it was all up here. They played mind games. Oh. They played a lot of mind games. I, no kidding. And your grandmother, she's standing by your mother. Oh, boy. And she's showing me that she supported your mother. Yeah, she did. Even though they caused so many problems in the family, you were still a good person by giving them the send-off that actually you felt they deserved. And they're taking their hat off to you. This is so important that they're saying thank you. And your mum would never say thank you. No, she didn't. Well, she's saying thank you. Thank you. She's been waiting for that. Thank you. You're welcome.